Hello everyone, my name is Takahiro Harada from MD. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about hardware accelerated ray tracing in Radeon ProLander 2.0. We just released the Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs. These GPUs not only improve the pure compute performance, but also added a brand new uh, hardware piece in a GPU. As you have already heard of the hardware, this is the hardware for ray tracing. Therefore, a ray tracing application has the potential to get more performance boost on this GPU. Radeon Pro Renderer, which is a global image renderer, our team has been developing is one example which I'm going to talk more in a few minutes. The ray tracing hardware can be used through the graphics API. It is exposed to DirectX ray tracing, Vulkan, and also OpenCL. Radeon Pro Renderer is written in OpenCL, therefore using the hardware through the API. Let me explain a little bit about Radeon Pro Renderer 2.0. We have been developing this RPR for quite a long time. Since last year, we started a complete rewrite of the entire engine. The new engine, which we call RPR2, has so many features improvements compared to RPR1. RPR2 has more features. We added some features, which has been requested by users for years for RPR1, such as using texture, open color I.O., Material X support, and so on. Radeon Pro Renderer 2 is also more performant compared to RPI 1. What this means is that you can get noise free image much far, far faster than RPI 1. RPI 2 is written to run at the best performance on AMD's RDNA architecture GPUs. Furthermore, at this release, we added RDNA2 support or hardware accelerated ray tracing support through OpenCL. A natural question you may have would be how much performance gain we can get using the hardware ray tracing. To evaluate the performance uplift from the hardware ray tracing, we rendered some scenes with and without the hardware. We borrowed scenes from our partners you can see rendered images of the scenes on the right in the slide. One scene is from Aka Software, who integrated API into the application architecture modeling tool, Edificious. Another one is from Blender 3D scene, a junk shop, originally created for the internal rendering engine Cycles, but API has compatibility with Cycles, so we could render, we could use it for API performance test as well. Another one you can find at the middle row is interesting. It is a rabbit with a lot of furs, which we borrowed from Linda Zhu Studio. The one thing I want to bring up here is that RPI2, it's not only ray triangle intersection, which is accelerated, hardware accelerated. However, ray curve intersection is also accelerated using the ray tracing hardware. We render these scenes and measured the ray casting ex ray cast ex execution time with and with the hardware and without the hardware. The graph here is the result. For each scene, there are two bars. The green one are without the hardware. The red ones are with the hardware. These are execution time. Therefore, shorter is better. The improvements depends on the scene, but we can see that up to 2x performance improvements from these tests. We also compared the rendering time for these scenes not only for raycast execution time to our previous generation GPU, uh, Radeon RX 6700XT GPU. Here are some comparison. As you can see, we use the same set of scenes for the testing, and the rendering time is greatly improved on Radeon RX 6800 XT GPU. The performance improvement varies again, but on average, rendering speeds 
increased more than 2x. For the first one, for the first one in the graph, the restaurant scene, which I believed the bottleneck was the ray casting, improved close to 3x compared to Radeon RX 5700 XT GPU. This is a dramatic improvement. At last, I want to show you the multi-GPU scaling on RPA2. We again borrowed the scene from one of our partners, Morganrod, which you can see the, on the right. The rendered, we rendered the scene on multiple GPUs from single GPU up to 10 GPUs. So for this test, we can compute the theoretical performance by dividing the execution time on a single GPU by the number of GPUs we use. The theoretical performance is shown in the orange line in the graph. The bars in the graph are the measured rendering time. As you can see, they are very close. If we go to 10 GPUs, we can see some gaps there, but I would say the scaling is very good for RPA2. The test was executed using Radeon RX 5700 XT GPUs, but the scalability should also apply to the Radeon RX 6800 XT GPUs too. Okay, this is all I have today. We have already released RPI SDK with Radeon RX 6000 series hardware ray tracing support on our GitHub page, so anybody can go there and then download our uh, uh, SDK. Also, most of the plugins we have been developing uses the SDK, meaning that you can enjoy the acceleration by the hardware ray tracing if you use rate, our latest plugins on Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs. And also in this slide, you can find uh, the system, the detail of the system configurations we used for the performance measurement. Um, this is this is all from me. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.